What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new series that I have just started after a couple of days uh, since I finished Portal 2. Um, we will be playing Hollow Knight. Um, I've, I thought about, like I compared quite a few number of games, uh, about five games I think I compared, but in the end Hollow Knight won out because this is another game that is um, has been high on my list of games that I've wanted to play for a very long time. Um, and I have watched the Let's Play, therefore I do know it to some extent. Like it's not a blind, it's not a blind Let's Play uh, that we're now doing. Um, but at the same time, uh, it is still, it's been so long that I've watched the Let's Play that I, that we will still be experiencing some things together. So there's that unpredictability but not to such an extent that we might end up spending five episodes just trying to figure out one thing uh, before we'd be able to move on so I don't expect that we'd be getting stuck um, yeah so I think that is that is good enough for an intro there was nothing else that I wanted to mention on that front so I'd say let's just jump right into it In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet youth challenge met. Under Bayless watch you taught we changed, base instincts were redeemed. The world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From elegy for hollow nest by Monomon the teacher. Quite a deep pit we just fell down. <laughs> I'm surprised we're okay. Okay, and it seems that we're off. It seems that we've started. Quite a cryptic in uh, intro uh, cutscene, I would say. That first part with uh, with whatever power escaped from whatever that thing was <laughs> was um, quite ominous. And then we saw our character just uh, wandering. It seems to be a bit of a wanderer. And then he happened upon this place, and this is now where our story starts, it looks like. So, yeah, let's see where this road takes us. Um, it must be said that this game is extremely beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. I, uh, I'd say this is probably also one of the reasons why I chose this game over, over the other contenders, was uh, for its beauty. Like, the, the emotions that that are invoked by um, this game are just uh, yeah it's like this this feeling of dreadful serenity hey eh? well what the hell there is a spike in the road okay let's check this out higher beings these words are for you alone your great strength marks you amongst us focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold two to focus soul and heal. Okay. So, oh, but what's going to happen now if I try to... Uh, every time you do that, it takes your soul, regardless if you complete the move or not. <laughs> Whoops. Now that is a bummer. <laughs> 
Hey, oh, secret room. I assume. Another mosquito looking thing. These things kind of look look like mosquitoes to me. <laughs> I don't know why. They don't, they don't, hey, spike. They don't look like an actual mosquito with the little needle and the little uh, paws that sort of bend out at the end. Um, but somehow, when I look at them, I'm just like, ah, oh, mosquito. <laughs> you know? I grabbed spike. Did I just whack that spike? That is epic. That is gonna... We are definitely gonna have to keep that in mind. Um, something must also be said about the uh, control scheme on uh, on PC. <laughs> I suspect this game was intended. Hey, blue things. I know what these guys are. They essentially give you extra health, as you can see. Hey, come back here. So my health. And I've got two little extra health thingy in my box there at the top left corner. Yeah, so the control scheme on this game for uh, PC is quite unintuitive. I really crap there goes the floor. Uh, this is not my first time trying to take this episode, by the way. Like, this is my not my first attempt for spikes. Um, so you'd think that I would have seen that broken floor coming <laughs> by now, but no, I did not. So, um, yeah, this basically teaches us about wrapping around. You know, breakaway floors, shortcuts, wrapping around, that sort of thing. Oh wow, I never even saw this place. Hey okay, so I highly doubt that I'll be able to get over there. Um, oh, we're gonna try, we're gonna try, there's a certain technique. Ooh, but yeah, the control scheme definitely comes into play here, because it is very unintuitive. I've currently got it mapped. WRSD for movement and then I've got my numpad for the jumping and striking and powering up and stuff like that So, okay, let's try this. I need to I need to Downward swipe hop my way across these spikes Okay, 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 good 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 actually made it Hey What's this then? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Okay. Dude, I feel like I discovered like a, a top secret that you're not supposed to discover so early on in the game. What have we here? Theory of the Fallen. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. The equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Okay, I got a charm! So early in the game, dude, that is epic. That is epic. I feel like we we came upon something that nobody ever does. You know, that feels like a top secret. Where are we now there? Did I just Did I just pop out where I came in originally? Yeah, look at that. Go back down here. Okay, we've already read the, that higher beings message. <laughs> that um, message exclusive to higher beings. Lower beings need not apply or attempt to read because you can't. <laughs> uh, just to be clear, this that joke is that joke is aimed at uh, insects. Not do not so do not try to read anything into it. There we go. That's how I get this uh, this money stash right here. My previous attempt at starting this episode, I just couldn't figure out how to get back up there. <laughs> I thought I would have to come back one day once I have more abilities. Okay, I feel like this is an excellent start. I feel like we discovered something super special. Okay, let's inspect this one as well. Higher beings, these words of you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hallownest. Man, that's powerful stuff right there. The last and eternal kingdom. The last and only kingdom. Eternally. Yours truly, Hallownest. <laughs> and then this gigantic entranceway that are like sealed off. It sort of gives vibes like, like, do not stay, enter into the cursed crypt of the Pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of vibe I'm getting from that. Ah, oh, another one of those drops. I guess uh, we won't be going back there anytime soon. <laughs> I love that you can, like, 
destroy the background entities like the grass and there were like these rock statue things back where we came from. Dirtmouth, the fading time. Yeah. Hey! You look interesting. Oh, God. Hello oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too see your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Okay. Well, yes, yes. We do want to go down to this place of which we have never heard before. You just mentioned it. <laughs> that sounds great, but I think let's see if you've got anything else to say. Elderbun is his name. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Alonest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm, now nothing more. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Huh. Painting quite a story, what else do you have to say? Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before bedding below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you've seen the talkative sort. Okay, I'll try the bench just now. Feeling tired? That bench. Ah, regret this. Okay! So, this, this hollow nest of which I speak, you know, you, well, me and whoever knows what's going on in the game knows what's going on but like they make it seem so so strange oh damn it i'm completely missed that message now what did it say i saw an eye okay epic 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 our charm fury of the fallen embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die when close to death the bearer's strength strength will increase i accept it I mean, I've got nothing else to equip, so might as well equip that, am I right? This is epic. This is epic. I love it. Very, um... I don't know what the word is. Me melancholic? Is that a word? Is Does that properly describe the feeling that this place, like, generates? For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. Ah, those are my... They're my soul people. My soul bugs, as it were. Let's just see what's going on over here before we uh, get into the meat of things. A stone door with a simple lock. I don't suppose. No. Okay, so we'll come back to that stone door as soon as we can. Simple lock. We will need some sort of key, I'm sure. Can I go down here? Is this a secret? No. Let's jump down. See what this place is all about. See what they're on about. Okay, left to right, guys. Forgotten crossroads. Means we can go either way from here. Will I be able to get back? Yeah, I should be able to get back. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Hey, buddy, you okay down there? I am coming down, but I wanted you to shut up for me. Ow. Damn it, I can't believe I got hit. In one of my attempts to start this episode afterwards I uh, just played around with the combat for a bit to uh, get used to it because it feels it seems so simple when you're watching but then you play it and it is not simple at all but uh, I do think that I'm definitely doing better okay so we've got these sorts of mindless bugs like these two that we just saw and then we've got that other guy that we originally faced in front of the money uh, he seems to be a bug of a different class. But I'm sure we'll see more of that. Hold here, hold here. Oh, another one of you. Did you just... Are you constantly generating? I hope not. Unless... I'm just gonna jump over the formalities and jump right into this room and then we'll see the rest of the chamber. Hey, crying grub. Crying grub bug. Don't be sad, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely help you as much as I can. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I will even cut your grass for you, free of charge. Mow your lawn. 
Nice to meet you. I'm I'm Hollow Knight. No, I don't think I'm Hollow Knight. I think I'm Bug Knight. <laughs> um, but we will definitely be helping out that poor guy. Poor fella. Sad. Sad poor fella. Okay, should we go ahead and kill all these bugs? Or should we just see where else we can go from here? That is the question. I think I want to... Ah, damn it, I thought I was going to be fast enough. This gets tricky. This gets tricky, I'm not going to lie. I definitely want to collect the Geo. Um, that is the... Uh, this little monies that we're picking up. It's called Geo. Uh, I definitely want to be collecting as much of that. Because from what I understand, Geo... Or from what I remember, Geo can get scarce. And it can get a bit of a battle to uh, build up Geo. So I think just to that end, I will... Uh, Kill all these enemies at least once. Damn it, all the way to the bottom. Hmm? Is that right? Oh, kill this guy. Out of pure frustration. Okay, so we've got a hole in the bottom here. Gonna definitely come back to that. But first, I wanna go back from whence I came <laughs> to make sure that I grab all the money and that we saw all the places that we can see. I think that is the important part. That is what we're playing this game for, is we wanna experience as much of it as we can. Now, will this be a 100% playthrough? Probably not. Um, we'll see how it goes though, if I magically build up an audience and uh, they... Oh no! I didn't mean to drop down just yet. But now that I have, we have to explore this, because there's a, there's a cheerful voice in the distance. And he's a good friend of mine. Hmm, ah, oh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I would 100% like to buy a copy of your work so far. Not interested then? Yes, quite understandable. Exploring without a map, finding your own way through unknown caverns, all very nourishing for the soul. Perhaps we'll meet again on our travels. Mm -hmm. Did I accidentally mm -hmm. highlight the no. <laughs> Let's try that again, Mr. Oh, mm, cartographer, whose name we don't know yet. Hmm, have you changed your mind about buying a map? Absolutely. Yes, I didn't even realize I selected no the first time around. Acquired a map, all time, to view a map of the current area. View a detailed map of Hollowness and the map pane of the inventory. Good stuff. Chocolate. Map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. We'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Okay, so... Through the powers of deduction, you must be cornerfer then. I can only assume. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself, you just with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer and I've always loved exploring the world. Why when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. <laughs> that sounds terrible, Cornifer. Sounds absolutely terrible. But yeah, nice to meet you. I love you, dude. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cornifer. Thanks for the map, bro. I appreciate it. I will be visiting your wife, Zelda, as soon as I can. Probably... Probably within the next 10 minutes. <laughs> because I do not have a map uh, a head for directions, I will tell you that much. You guys maybe don't know this about me yet, because so far we've already played games that are linear. But I am terrible with directions. You can just ask the missus. Okay, so let's check out this uh, this little entranceway over here as well. This is the next one below the Crying Grub Man. And uh, it is quite beautiful. It is quite beautiful. Okay. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of LMS, descend through ver verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city of the Kingdom's Ark. There all wishes will be granted, all truths revealed. I love the um, 
Well, uh, is it fireflies? Is it random little sparks in the air? What is it? I don't know, but I love it. And it's getting a little bit forested here. Hey, big guy. Please let me through. I will use my rage of my white rock charm to, to get you to let me through. Um, but yeah, no, this guy is not going to let us through, sadly. He's going to spit some orange poop at us. Uh, and we will not be able to get through at this point. So we will have to come back, unfortunately. Which is fine, which is fine. We've got all the time in the world. Our next entrance is this little secret. Uh, let's hop on through. Oh! You idiot. I blame this part. And I will take your money as a compensation for my troubles. Ah, damn. Woo! Yo, that was close, guys. That was super close. I, <laughs> I started focusing right below that spike. Not even realizing that spike was about to fall on my face. Okay, and I took another unnecessary hit from that part. But luckily here we meet our first focus uh, focus station and promptly die, of course. Yeah, so the, that thing that I just whacked up there, that just essentially gives focus. It's the same as those little, those little money spots where you can just grab some money for free. Hey, would you look at that? Would you look at that? This is going to be difficult. Ow. This, let's try it once or twice more, but I'm not overly committed to this right now. I would much rather just go back to Dirtmouth. Ow. Right now to purchase a compass. Yeah, no, this isn't happening. I think we need to get come back at some point. Uh, perhaps when we've unlocked a certain ability that would make that more easy. Easier. And then we can look at that again. Besides, I'm very close to death now. So I want to whack a couple of guys just so that I can do some focusing. Get my health back up and then I want to see what, if anything, is on the right side of this, uh, of this uh, great hallway. Is it? <laughs> I don't know, what, what would you watch? Chamber, this chamber, yeah. Uh, I feel like chamber is more appropriate. Um, I've got a little thing about words. I like using correct words <laughs> whenever I can. Uh, but at the same time, English is in my native language and uh, I am not very good with language. So you'll often find me or hear me arguing with myself about the right word to use or the right phrase or the right grammar. <laughs> Which is, yeah, I don't know. I suppose it's just a little quirk. Okay, so I think... This is sort of where the implicit storyline wants to take us. Not that there's any sort of storyline, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, there's a lot more going on here, a lot more bugs, a lot more happenings. Okay, I'm just gonna be careful with this guy because I've now seen that you need to be very rhythmic in your wax. You can't just like click your attack button constantly, like tap it like it's a fighting game and hope to kill your enemies. Because they will just, they will run in between your attack and and damage you. So you need to be very like almost rhythmic in the way that you tap your attack. Um, yeah, so I definitely think that this is the way to go moving forward. Again, just like beautiful, beautiful uh, scenery that I create. Hey, Crabbins! Crabbins, what you doing? Hi, babe. I bet this is why the old grubbums in that first chamber was crying, it's because of you. Let me, oh man, I can't reach you right now, dude. I will be back though, I promise, I promise. But okay, also I'm not going in that direction just yet. First I want to quickly just run back to Dirtmouth and get that compass because... Because I do not have any directions and I am not even going to try. Um, to pretend that I do because I'm just going to embarrass myself and whatever uh, future viewer I might attract will immediately just be like, nah, <laughs> this guy ain't for me. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's quickly head back to Dirtmouth and uh, then we're going to meet Isalda. Isalda is it? Or is it Esmeralda? Something like that. Does this guy respawn? That guy didn't respawn, so... Some bugs don't respawn by the looks of it. Jump button, come on. 
Ah, uh, this doesn't work with jump. Hey, dirt mouse. Why, hello there. You must be Zelda. Ah, <sighs> nada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up there. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what... Now let's see what's here for me to sell. Okay, Wayward Compass. Highly recommended if, you, if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us. Try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Cool. You'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. Yep, we will definitely be needing that. Bench pin. These pins will mark benches and other rest spots on your map. Useful if you're exhausted and just need to find somewhere to sit. Cocoon pin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? I made these pins so you can keep track of them. The cocoons are pretty but very delicate. Please be careful around them. I assume this is those extra health thingies that we saw in the very beginning. Vendor pin. Use these pins to mark shopkeepers or any other interesting bugs you find in your travels. Every so often you should pass by and see how they're doing. I'm sure they'd like that. Hot spring pin. I designed these pins to keep track of the kingdom's hot springs. I haven't visited any myself. I wonder if Cornifer might take me sometime. I'm sure you'd make better use of these pins till then. Scarab marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. The color is quite soothing, don't you think? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like a darkish, bluish, navyish, midnight blue, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't really know color names are all. Spell marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. You could use this color to remind yourself of hard-won battles. Okay, yeah. Or I could use them to mark battles that I've not been able to win. <laughs> but okay, I think our immediate goal is going to be the compass and the quill. So for that we're going to need 340 bucks. We've currently got 150, so I think let's carry on playing. And then once we have the money, we just pop back in and buy both of those things at the same time. And then we'll just explore and get lost together a bit before buying those items. But unfortunately, we are out of time at the moment. So uh, we're going to call this episode a wrap and uh, say goodbye for now. And then in the next episode, we will go down that second route that we saw that I uh, ended up turning around in to come back up to this elder. And then we will see what we can find there. And uh, our immediate objective will be to get the money together to buy those two things. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Uh, let me know how you're doing in the comment section below, because I would love to hear from you guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, if you enjoy what I'm doing. Um, it will definitely help me out and just give me a sort of a, a nod saying, yep, you're doing the right thing, <laughs> carry on, you know. See you guys in the next episode. Cheers.